action. Join over 250,000 people who have chosen Humira. Ask your dermatologist about Humira and go. Live from KPRC, this is Channel 2 News Midday. Right now at midday, a violent robbery, a sexual assault, and a chase. Where it all took place and what police are doing to catch the suspects. Plus, raising money for a Houston police officer who was hurt in a freak accident. How you can help his family by heading over to Minute Maid Park. And we are tracking Lane's movement as the storm inches closer to Hawaii. Meteorologist Britta Merwin will show us who's in the storm's bullseye. But we start with that violent robbery at the Exotic Adult Superstore in Northeast Houston. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Haley Hernandez in for Jennifer Reyna today. Right now at midday, we are learning new details about what happened inside that adult store. Houston police say a female employee was sexually assaulted before the men left the store, leading them on a high-speed chase. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers joins us live with new details. Brittany. Yeah, Houston police tell us that it was in the early morning hours when those four men walked into this store here. They demanded car keys and cash. And as you mentioned, police say two of those men are accused of sexually assaulting one of the store employees. Houston police say that those four armed men went inside the store. They took the security guard's gun and car keys. Now, according to HPD, two of those suspects sexually assaulted a store employee. But police say that employee was able to set off a silent panic alarm. And when officers arrived, they say they found the suspects still inside of the store. But some of them took off running. Others got into the security guard's vehicle. And you can see from the Transtar video where they crashed out off the East Tex freeway. Now, police Police say one of the suspects tried to run across the freeway to try to get away, but police were ultimately able to catch up with him. Now, at this point, one of the suspects is in custody, but three are still on the loose. HPD tells us that this is an active investigation. Of course, we will continue checking in with them and bring you the latest just as soon as we learn more. Live here in Northeast Harris County, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you. Right now, a fundraiser is being held at Minute Maid Park for a Houston police officer who was critically injured in a freak accident while at a charity golf tournament back in April. Actually, Officer Jerry Flores' family has been in the hospital since then, and his family needs help raising money for medical bills. Channel 2's Taisha Walker joins us live with the latest. Good morning, Taisha. Good morning. It's like a party out here. You can see that fundraiser has officially kicked off. There are hundreds of people out here. So many people wearing shirts that say J, uh, J Flow Strong. This is the food line that you're looking at right now. This is the barbecue part of the fundraiser. They are also selling apparel. They are also doing raffles. The Astros Foundation has teamed up with several police organizations to help injured police officer Jerry Flores. The Houston police officer was critically hurt back in April during a charity golf tournament. Officer Flores fell off of a golf court cart and hit his skull. He was in a coma for several weeks where he remained in a hospital. His recovery and rehabilitation are expected to both be lengthy and expensive. So that is why this fundraiser is taking place right here so that people can help him with his recovery effort. He has been a law enforcement officer for more than 20 years and they say this is just a little way that the public can give, give back. This is absolutely incredible. You know, it means the world to our officers just when someone comes up to them and says thank you for their service. But at an event like this where we have hundreds, there'll probably be a th over a thousand people here today supporting Officer Flores. Not only does it mean the world to him and his family, but it means the world to every single officer in this city. And if you'd like to come down here and join the party and help Officer Flores with his recovery, tickets are $15 and it ends at 4 o'clock here at Minute Maid. News. Wonderful right. to see such a tremendous turnout there at Minute yeah. Maid Park. Hope they morning. get lots of help for the Flores family. Well, Vice President Pence is set to tour the Johnson Space Center in about an hour. He'll talk about the administration's space policy priorities. That's right. Houston's space reporter Ryan Korsgaard joining us now live. And Ryan, this visit comes on the heels of the Trump administration's announcement of the newest branch of the military, the Space Force, right? 
And they're expected to discuss that. We know right now the vice president as well as the NASA administrator on, are on a tour. This is part of a two-day tour for the vice president all across the state of Texas. Yesterday, you'll remember, he was at Rockport uh, talking about Harvey recovery. Today, he's at the NASA uh, Johnson Space Flight Center touring the neutral buoyancy lab. That is that giant swimming pool that's used for Orion testing as well as astronaut training underwater. Now, this afternoon, he's expected to talk about the future of human space exploration and also talk about NASA's plans to return to the moon and then go on to Mars. You can watch that address from right here at the Johnson Space Center at 1245 this afternoon at click 2 Houston. Houston.com. Later this afternoon, the vice president expected to go on to Louisiana. We're live at JSC today. Ryan Forsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, thank you, Ryan. Well, Democratic candidate for Senator Beto O'Rourke is campaigning in North Harris County today. He is holding a rally in spring this afternoon. The rally is part of the El Paso congressman's 34-day drive across the state. He'll meet with voters at Papa's Ice House in spring at 1.30. We are tracking lane. People in Hawaii have been emptying store shelves ahead of the hurricane. The Category 4 storm is expected to slam into or pass close by the islands today through Friday. The situation is a bit more dire for the islands than it would be for, let's say, Texas or Florida. That's because people there can't just get in their cars and head to a safer place. It also means that goods have stopped being shipped there. Yeah, I mean, it, it's crazy because we're able to evacuate and we get plenty of notice to do so. They've been cramming onto airplanes for the past yeah, week. Yeah, we just head north. That's all we have to I do. Know. And it's it's insane timing, too, um, because as Britta remembers, it was this time last year that we were doing the exact yeah. same thing for Hurricane Harvey. It's really eerie when you think about it that way. Right. Uh, this is still a massive system. The winds are starting to come down, but still a Category 4 hurricane. Winds are sustained at 130 miles per hour. The forecast is looking more positive in terms of not a direct landfall, but as we all know, you don't have to be in the cone to feel those impacts, and they're going to see some pretty large impacts out of this storm. Let's take you through the forecast. Early, early tomorrow morning, it's going to be a Category 2 hurricane just south of the island. So again, that weakening is going to continue. That's because the water temperatures are cooler next to the islands. As we go into Saturday, it starts to downgrade to a tropical storm, but still very close to Oahu and also Kauai. It's going to produce very large swell, heavy rainfall, Mudslides could be a large threat, and they're definitely going to be dealing with these impacts all the way through Saturday night, and then we'll start to see the situation improve. For us, it's all about the heat. We have a heat advisory that was issued at 9 o'clock in the morning. This is a 12-hour heat advisory with feel like temperatures possibly as high as 110 degrees. Note that our north counties are not included. That's where we have dry or at least less humid conditions that will keep our feel like temperatures below that criteria of 108 degrees. But Conroe, the Woodland, like Livingston, Brenham, treat it seriously with the heat. You can still get yourself in trouble pretty quickly, so take it easy out there. Here's a look at your forecast for today here in Houston. 99 degrees with those triple-digit feel-like temperatures lasting all the way through the evening. It's not until 10 o'clock at night that we'll really start to see some improvements, and even at that point, we're talking mid-80s with feel-like temperatures in the mid-90s. It's going to be a muggy overnight. We'll take a look at your weekend forecast coming up next. Andy, Haley, back to you. Britta, thanks so much. Remember, you can track these temperatures anytime you want. All you have to do is download Frank's free forecast weather app. Just search KPRC in your Apple or Android app store. Now, new at midday, a huge meth bust in northeast Houston. Precinct 3 deputies say more than 50 pounds of methamphetamines were found during a traffic stop Wednesday afternoon. The driver was arrested without incident. But to put this into perspective, deputies say there are enough drugs to kill about 500 people, depending on their size. New surveillance video from the high school shooting in Parkland, Florida last February has been released. Exterior cameras show students and faculty running from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. It shows deputies and officers responding with weapons drawn. It also shows a staff member in a golf cart, Coach Aaron Feiss, heading toward the gunfire. He died in the attack protecting students. Ohio State has suspended head football coach Urban Meyer and their athletic director. Meyer is serving a three-game suspension. Director Gene Smith was given 17 days without pay. This is the result of investigations into their knowledge and handling of an alleged domestic violence incident involving an assistant coach. The ex-wife of that coach is accusing him of domestic abuse and says Meyer and others knew about it and did nothing.
The Astros were able to overcome the Mariners in Seattle this week, but that's not why they're generating buzz. Coming up, we'll take a look at what the guys are doing to celebrate that has people laughing and now creating memes going viral in all kinds of ways. And a group of people forced to the ground at gunpoint as their truck is ransacked. We'll take a look at surveillance video of this east side robbery next. When you're injured, demand every dollar. Tell the insurance company you mean business. We're talking football. From the pros to college to high school, we've got it all covered live. The 2018 Fall Football Guide. Don't miss it. Tonight at 7 on KPRC Channel 2. Brought to you by UT Physicians, your home team for health care. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries helps make your living room almost too comfortable. Announcing the Labor Day sale. Right now only. Get 0% interest until January 2022. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. For top quality floors at rock bottom prices, there's no place like Floor & Decor. You'll find the largest in-stock selection of tile, wood, and stone. You have to see it to believe it. Visit us in-store or online at floorandecor.com. Jock. Hey, Jock. Quick question for you. No, mate. There's no actual beans in the bean stock. It's just a name. It's not that. It's that. Doesn't the giant normally say fee fi fo fun? Oh, right. I guess he decided to get rid of fees. Unlike cable providers, with AT&T Internet, the price you see is the price you pay. $40 a month. No extra monthly fees. No surprises. The end. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. Shop the Bassett Furniture Labor Day sale and take 25% off store-wide, plus additional savings up to $300. Now till Sunday, go to BassettStyle.com, where Craftsman Quality meets beautiful design, and book your free interior design consultation with one of our makeover experts. With over 800 fabric and finish options, we'll help you design your dream. Take 25% off store-wide, plus additional savings up to $300. Now till Sunday, go online or come by our Friendswood, Galleria, Katy, or Spring locations before our Labor Day sale ends. Are you still waiting to repair your home after Harvey? KHI Construction can help. We're an experienced residential contractor with a team of licensed trades for plumbing, HVAC, and electrical. If you had flood insurance but your home is still not finished, your deadline to apply for supplements is fast approaching. If you're in need of a general contractor to rebuild your home and submit insurance supplements, call KHI Construction today or go online to khi-construction.com. We're KHI and we're here to help. Boy Furniture Galleries helps make your living room almost too comfortable. Announcing the Labor Day sale. Right now only. Get 0% interest until January 2022. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. One year after Harvey and some of our neighbors still can't go home. I feel really stuck right now. Permit problems? Redrawn flood maps? What's next for neighbors who are still struggling? Tonight on Channel 2 at 10. You're watching Channel 2, Houston's home for news. Caught on camera, a group of people held hostage at gunpoint as their truck was ransacked. This happened back on August 11th on Broadway and Endor near Bray's Bayou in East Houston. The victims say they were standing outside a reception hall when a black Dodge, uh, Dodge Charger pulled up. Three men got out, pulled guns, and forced those people to the ground. If you have any information on this robbery, please call police. Also caught on camera, a police chase that ended in a crash and hurt a Wisconsin officer. Dash camera shows the officer go in for a pit move, which causes his cruiser to flip twice and skid along on its roof. That officer was hurt but has recovered. The suspect was charged for trying to get away from police and for putting people in danger. Some Maine lobsters were able to make a break for freedom after the truck carrying them rolled over. The big rig was hauling 7,000 pounds of lobster in Brunswick when the driver lost control and then rolled. You see him right there, 60 to 70 crates just spilled onto the road, oh, wow. allowing some of those lobsters to break free. They were caught, but the company that owns them says they will not be selling them after the crash. 
The driver had minor injuries. That is one expensive crash. Sure is. <laughs> okay, what was once a Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant became a place to smuggle drugs. That's according to Border Patrol agents. Check it out. This is drone video of the former KFC. Inside, they say they found a tunnel that stretched from San Luis, Arizona to Sonora, Mexico. Officers say the tunnel is 22 feet deep and extends to 590 feet long. Well, it was a good night for the Houston Astros, toppling the Mariners 10 to 7 off the back of a ninth inning home run from Tyler White. Now, fans are happy for the win, but they're talking about what happened in the dugout. To celebrate, the team became the latest group of athletes to do something perfectly in sync. There you got it. They gave the camera a big old stare. <laughs> of course, that's now going viral. It's not the first time a member of the Astros has given a camera the camera a stare after a home run. Remember this? from Alex Bregman last week. There he goes. Go get him, Bregman. Well, speaking of Alex Bregman, some Astros fans spent their morning waiting in line for a Bregman bobblehead. Right, this is the way it looked this morning. With a line, well, it... Uh, something like that. Something like that. <laughs> At one point, we know the line was wrapping around the Astros team store at Minute Maid Park. Yep. Uh, some folks there telling uh, our folks who were out there that they'd been waiting all night in line. And when the doors open, they couldn't be happier, couldn't have been happier, really, to get their hands on that special merchandise. Man, I'm so excited. I got the Alex Bregman, uh, the bobblehead. It's limited to 150, and I finally got one. And I'm so, I'm so excited. And I'm, I'm ready to go take it home and then put it on my display right now. <laughs> All right, the Astros 2019 schedule is out. Here's a sneak peek at some of next season's biggest games. The Strohs open the season with a seven-game road trip. The opener will be on Thursday, March 28th against the Tampa Bay Rays. After four games, the Astros will take on the Rangers for three. Houston's home opener is against the A's on April the 5th beginning a six-game homestand. After three games versus Oakland, the Yankees will be in town for three. The Strohs are scheduled to play in Monterey, Mexico on May 4th and 5th against the Angels. So cool that we already I know what uh, next to. season is going to shape up to I be know. like. And I guess right now, the only people worrying about the heat <laughs> is the Dynamo, right? Yes, yeah. Dynamo has their game tonight at 8 o'clock. So it's going to be hot when you show up to BBVA. We all know that heat that we stack up in BBVA. But the good news is during the game, it's going to cool off. We'll take a look at that forecast for the big Dynamo match against FC Dallas. But for right now, I need to get you caught up on some details. We have a heat advisory in effect. That's a live look at Herman Park. You can see the clouds building out there unfortunately chance of rain who slim to none it is just going to be a steam factory for today right now we're at 89 degrees you factor in the humidity a feel like temperature of 100 degrees that's 11 degrees of an increase of what your body is actually feeling outside and that's the concern as we get into the afternoon these feel like temperatures could easily spike as high as 110 in fact right now Katie feels like 107 degrees and that heat advisory is going to last all the way through this evening it's not until after nine o'clock that we're out of that critical zone. So make sure that you're staying hydrated, taking breaks, get inside and enjoy some air conditioning. Now notice that our North County is not included in this heat advisory, but it's gonna be very hot. Take it seriously, even in Huntsville and also Conroe, the Woodlands, Lake Livingston, make sure that you're keeping cool today. We're expecting 99 degrees here in town. Feel like temperatures again will be as high as 110. We're gonna keep that thread in through nine o'clock tonight with that heat advisory in place. Here's a look at the Dynamo forecast for tonight. Notice the temperatures get back to the 80s. We'll be at 86 degrees degrees at 9 p.m. It's going to be a great match to go on out and support Dynamo Forever Orange. We'll take a look at our tropical forecast. Of course, we have Hurricane Lane. You saw the forecast off at the top of the show. Looks like we're going to avoid the direct landfall, but impacts. I mean, this is a large storm system, and we know it all too well. You don't have to be in the cone to feel those impacts. So it's going to be a very stormy next three days for them with large surf, dangerous waves, a lot of rainfall and gusty winds. Meanwhile, in the Atlantic, I mean, it's been a snooze fest for about six weeks. We're watching this cluster of thunderstorms in Africa right now. Over the next five days, that's going to leave the coast and move into central portions of the Atlantic where we do have favorable conditions. Right now, about a 20% chance, so nothing that you need to worry about, but something that we will continue to watch here in the weather department. Right now, we're watching a storm to the north of us. It is not going to give us a chance to rain. That is moving off to the north and east. In fact, we're watching this ridge of high pressure on the east coast, and that's going to drive our weather for the next few days. It's going to be taking over. We're going to increase that onshore flow. So with all that Gulf moisture pushing in,
will start to really increase the humidity. As we increase the humidity, our afternoon highs actually go down. It's going to feel the same, though, between today, tomorrow, the next day. You're going to be feeling that triple-digit heat. Isolated afternoon showers back in the forecast this weekend. That's also going to help us out with the heat. So, again, today we have the heat advisory. Wouldn't be surprised if we had it tomorrow. But as we get into the weekend, we're going to go back to a more typical summer-like pattern, which is hot and humid, but will be below that critical advisory level. And hopefully some of us will see a shower or two as well. Yes, it would be nice. We need the rainfall. We do. Britta, mm -hmm. thanks so much. Thank you, Britta. Well, coming up, IBM may have to come up with a way to give big coffee giants like Starbucks a run for their money. What the company says it will do and how it involves drones. When the lunch bell rings, do your kids run to the head of the cafeteria line or dread the mystery meat on the tray? I'm consumer expert Amy Davis. You may be surprised at what the chefs and nutrition experts have prepared for students this year. We're putting their creations to a taste test by a panel of student judges. It's the Labor Day sale at Bell Furniture. Time to cash in on Incredibel savings all over the store. This six-piece king or queen bedroom set is only $6.99, free chest included. The Labor Day sale going on now at Bell Furniture on Beatabell. The dangers of asbestos exposure cannot be ignored. If you're 55 or older and work near asbestos in a factory, oil field, shipyard, or any job you believe exposed you, financial compensation may be available. Over $30 billion have been put aside for victims. Call right now. Schedule your free asbestos health test to see if you qualify for cash. 855-579-5299. That's 1-855-579-5299. The Houston Zoo is a place for the young and young at heart. It's a place to explore nature and get a little messy. It's a place to connect with animals and fall in love. When you visit the Houston Zoo, you're doing even more. You're supporting actions that save wildlife. Together, the Houston Zoo and you are saving animals from the tiny toad to the mighty king. The Houston Zoo. See them. Save them. Some days when I leave my home, my endometriosis pain is there. But I need to keep going. Getting work done. Hanging out with my girlfriends. Enjoying the occasional date night. If you experience endometriosis pain and have been surgically diagnosed, consider participating in a research study of an oral investigational medication for endometriosis pain. To see if you qualify, visit endostudy.com or call 844-94-STUDY. Visit endostudy.com to learn more. Living with chest pain was limiting what my husband could do. When he was turned down for heart surgery, we learned about protected PCI with Impella, a treatment option for some high-risk heart patients who are not candidates for bypass surgery. If you or a loved one have been turned down for heart surgery, ask your doctor and visit Impella.com to learn about the procedure and see if it may be an option for you. We're so grateful to our heart team that protected PCI with Impella was an option for him and us. It's the Labor Day sale at Bell Furniture. Time to cash in on Incredibel savings all over the store. This two-piece reclining living room set plus free recliner is only $10.78. The Labor Day sale going on now at Bell Furniture on Beatabelle. Personalized service, the pinnacle of luxury. Take your car buying experience in a whole new direction. West Houston Infinity. The happiest place on earth may also soon be the smartest. Disney just announced a new program that will pay for tuition up to 80,000 of its hourly employees. Gosh, that's mm. a lot. That's a lot. Workers can take everything from high school equivalency courses on up to master's degree programs, and their choice of study does not have to be related to their current role at Disney. Haley, you're an early riser, so I think you're going to like this next yes, story. Yes, I will. You like your coffee, right? <laughs> I do. All right, get this. The next time you want a cup of joe, a barista may not be the one handing it to you. You could be getting it from a drone instead. Is IBM. The Jetsons now? Well, IBM has received a patent for a coffee drone. 
The drone would not only fly around delivering coffee, but it will also have the ability to predict which people need a caffeine pick-me-up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, facial or voice recognition what? software, an electronic ID tag, or even the Bluetooth from a person's smartphone will ensure that the coffee gets to the right person. <sighs> Like you sold, we, yay or nay? You know, I feel like there's there's a lot of things that can go wrong there, but I definitely think it's a trillion dollar idea. I mean, everybody's gonna wanna buy into that. Look, as long as I get my hot cup of coffee in the morning, I don't care yeah, how. Love instant <laughs> How it's delivered, exactly. exactly. Yep. Well, if your kid is brown bags their lunch at school every day, it may be time to take another look at the cafeteria menu. That's right. Consumer expert Amy Davis asked two of the largest school districts in our area to whip up some of their best lunch entrees for a taste test. Gone are the days of square pizza and corn. Some school lunch menus look more like offerings in a mall food court. Check it out. This banh mi Vietnamese sandwich is one of the choices students have at Sci Fair ISD middle and high schools. We are very proud of what we do. When you're serving up 120,000 meals a day at 89 campuses, it's hard work to make meals healthy, tasty, and fresh. We really do try to introduce several menu items throughout the school year. At all 287 campuses in Houston ISD this year, students will have a fresh salad bar. It's almost unheard of <laughs> across the nation uh, for a district this size. On this day, we asked both districts to prepare their best entrees for just four students. Seventh grader Hudson and second graders Lennon, Hadley, and another Hudson. On the menu from Sci Fair, orange chicken lo mein, and beef and cheese nachos. From HISD, barbecue chicken flatbread and turkey ham mac and cheese. The students sampled with no prodding from the chefs or nutrition experts from either district. I will tell you the seventh grader is going to be the trickiest. It's the time where students, their, their, their profile, their, their palates are starting to change, they're coming into their own. And in the end, we asked what they thought was the best tasting entree. I really love the orange chicken and lo mein. The chicken. The chicken tasted really good. Sci Fair's orange chicken lo mein came out on top, even though Hadley had a more simple palate. I don't really like the lo mein that much, but I like the chicken and I like the chips plain. You like the chips plain with no cheese and no beef? Yeah, that's what I always get is I like just get plain chips. And herein lies the problem with trying to serve up nutritious meals for thousands of picky eaters. I don't like the mac and cheese that much, but I do like the flat beef bread. HISD's barbecue chicken flatbread was the second runner-up. Then Sci Fair's beef and cheese nachos. The turkey ham mac and cheese came in last. And this is just a small sampling of the entrees your kids will see when they go back to school. On click2houston.com, we are linking you to the whole menu at Sci Fair Schools and HISD. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Some next level cuisine for the kids, right? You're wanting right? them to bring back the square pizza, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> right? That flatbread look. <laughs> I think the kids liked the square pizza. <laughs> Old That's, school. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, school buses are back on the road for some local moms. The anxiety is now growing. A tragic accident and a push to keep students safe on those buses. Coming up, a look at the number of three-point safety belts on school buses district by district. And next, as the family of a woman who was allegedly murdered by an undocumented immigrant comes to grips with her death, the man accused of murdering her goes before a judge. What we learn from the courtroom. Budding is proud to have been there from the first day to graduation day. And we just want to say thank you. Budding, making more than a sandwich for 75 years. Whether you're going back to school or back to football, get the screens you need at Cons Home Plus. Score big savings and low monthly payments on big screen TVs and laptops. For top quality floors at rock bottom prices, come to Floor & Decor. You're getting an incredible product for an amazing price, and that's hard to beat. Hardwoods, laminates, tile, or stone. Holy smokes, this place is huge. I'm on a budget. And I was able to go to Floor and & Decor and save a lot of money. You will be blown away by this experience. The pros come here, I come here. If you love your wallet and you love your home, you have to go to Floor & Decor. Floor & Decor. You have to see it to believe it.
If you thought replacement windows weren't in the budget this year, we've got great news. For one month only, Renewal by Anderson is having a flash sale on our windows and patio doors. Before August 31st, save 20% on windows, save 20% on patio doors, and save 20% on installation too. And get the financing we almost never offer. 0% interest for four years. We're the full service replacement window division of Anderson. And they've been building windows for 114 years so you're getting a fantastic deal on a window that will really last during this sale save 20 percent on windows save 20 percent on patio doors and save 20 percent on installation too and get the financing we almost never offer zero percent interest for four years our flash sale is one month only and ends on august 31st call to book your free window diagnosis 832-735-0400 The Quicker Picker Upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker and is two times more absorbent. Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper. Tonight's NBC primetime lineup starts at 7 right here on KPRC Channel 2. Brought to you by Classic Chevrolet of Houston, located near the Galleria and West U. As a working mom, I need after school snacks to be easy. So a quick snack with Buttig Original is the perfect protein pick me up. And it gives us more time together because they're only little for a little while. Buttig, make more than a sandwich. Live from KPRC, this is Channel 2 News Midday. The family of Iowa College student Molly Tibbetts says they are trying to come to terms with their new normal, a life without Molly, who disappeared while out for a run more than a month ago. This is the 24-year-old immigrant accused of killing her appeared in court for the first time, showing little emotion as the judge advised him of his rights. NBC's Ron Mott reports. Overnight, tears and tributes for 20-year-old Molly Tibbetts. Her brother Jake speaking for the family for the first time publicly since her accused killer's arrest. From our family, from her friends, from the community of Brooklyn, we thank you. From the bottom of our heart, she was incredible. And we, uh, you know, we're going to miss her dearly. At the University of Iowa, where Molly would have been a sophomore, a vigil in her memory. She can rest easy and know that there's so many people out there who love her prayers in her hometown. Life has changed for all of us. Hours earlier, the man accused in her murder in court. 24-year-old immigrant Christian Bahena Rivera listening to the court proceedings through an interpreter, telling the judge he understands the charge against him, first-degree murder. His bond, $5 million. This is, this is shocking. At the small family-owned dairy farm where Rivera worked, the father-son team who run it said they used a government verification system to assess Rivera's eligibility and everything checked out. What we learned in the last 24 hours is that our employee was not who he said he was. Authorities have said Rivera was an undocumented immigrant from Mexico, something quickly picked up by President Legally Trump and his supporters. The president tweeting a new video. Molly Tippett, an incredible young woman is now permanently separated from her family. A person came in from Mexico illegally and killed her. Rivera's attorney now saying his client is, in fact, in the U.S. legally, blasting the president as sad and sorry Trump in a court filing, saying it hurts his client's chances for a fair trial. We're urging the court to prevent the cameras from coming in here, which possibly could show some sort of bias or prejudice and get it into this political controversy. A young life taken too soon, now the latest focus of a divisive national debate. The suspect did not waive his right to a preliminary hearing, so the judge ordered him back to court next Friday, August 31st. An autopsy was conducted yesterday, but the results are still pending. Here's a look at some of the morning's other top stories. A fundraiser is being held for a Houston police officer who was critically injured in a freak accident while at a charity golf tournament back in April. It's happening right now at Minute Maid Park. Officer Jerry Flores has been in the hospital since he fractured his skull. The fundraiser is being held to help his family with medical bills. Entry is free and a plate of barbecue will cost you $15.
Today, Vice President Mike Pence is set to visit the Johnson Space Center at NASA. He'll talk about the future of space exploration, NASA's plans to return to the moon, and send humans to Mars. That starts in just about an hour. Houston space reporter Ryan Korsgaard is there and will have a live report on Channel 2 News at noon. All right, let's turn our attention now to the weather. We are under a heat advisory right oh, now. You can tell just by walking outside. Justin Stapleton in now to tell yeah. us when will this end? Uh, October? <laughs> we go with that? You know what I meant. I Hopefully, didn't. right? <laughs> that, Hopefully. Oh, it'd be nice. Maybe. Yeah, we'll that get actually goes into yeah, heat advisory tonight, uh, Haley, goes until 9 o'clock. And so we'll probably see heat uh, indices and it feels like temperatures, which it is anywhere from about 105 to 110. Now, notice that doesn't include some of the northern counties, nor does that include the immediate coastline, uh, as we'll get just a bit of a sea breeze out there today. There's not much on the exact track. We got a few showers way offshore. Expect that to be very quiet today. A little haze out there for our afternoon as well. We're already at 87 degrees. Feels like about 96. Winds are calm and the humidity right now holding at about 68 to about 70%. 92 in Katy, 88 in Tomball, 86 in Conroe. But look, a, a bit of an easterly wind, northeasterly wind. So that's a generally dry wind. However, it is battling some of the moisture trying to come in off the Gulf as well. So we'll have to watch. I think the further north and east you are, the drier the air will feel today. Obviously, further south you get to the coast, that will not necessarily be the case. So the humidities we're going to watch very carefully. Feels like temperatures as well. Mid upper 90s to about 100 degrees. They will stay that way for a good chunk of the day today. Thus the heat advisory. And we're going to top out around 99 for this afternoon. We'll talk about if we can get a little relief as we go into your weekend forecast. That's straight ahead. All right, Justin, thanks so much. Experts say your child is seven times safer riding on a school bus than riding in your car with a seatbelt. That's impressive. But as Channel 2 investigator reporter Mario Diaz discovered, impressive, safe, uh, impressive safety stats are not slowing down the push for three-point safety belts statewide and here locally. School buses back on the road, symbolic of the new school year. But their return can be heart-wrenching for some. I start reliving it all over again. In September 2015, Shanine Chapman lost her 14-year-old daughter, Janisha, when the bus she was traveling in tumbled off an overpass along the 610 South Loop. I don't ever get to see her get married. I don't ever get to see her children. None of that. Melody Johnson remembers that morning as if it was yesterday. When they said something had happened, I merely thought it was something that had happened at school, not the bus. Johnson lost her 17-year-old daughter, Mariah, in the accident that also injured others. Hopefully, someone will listen that there is a danger out there that no one's talking about. The lack of three-point lap safety belts in school buses is the danger these mothers are referring to. I see a lot of districts that are buying school buses with three-point seat belts, and then there's the ones that opt out. Senate Bill 693 was passed in the last legislature, requiring that all school districts purchasing new buses beginning with 2018 models should have three-point belts in them. Districts can also opt out if they do not have the funds. How many buses within your school system? 1,042 with 93 more coming. Over a month ago, Channel 2 Investigates reached out to several school districts to identify how many of their buses are equipped with safety belts, including three-point safety belts. The school districts include HISD, SciFair, Katy, Humble, A-Leaf, and Fort Bend. All districts mentioned having buses with three-point safety belts, except Fort Bend and Katy. Katy tells Channel 2 Investigates buses purchased in the future will have three-point safety belts. Fort Bend is still considering the matter. Most districts don't transport nearly the percentage of students that SciFair does. Bill Powell oversees transportation for SciFair, a district made up by 1,042 buses. 254 have safety belts, of which 84 have three-point safety belts. But Powell tells Channel 2 Investigates the district will have another 93 buses with three-point safety belts on the roads by late September. There is no doubt SciFair is taking an aggressive approach to ensure that all of their buses in the near future have lab belts inside of them. But not all school districts are the same. In fact, Powell says that what it boils down to at the end of the day is money and exactly where to spend it. They're now struggling t with, okay, do we spend another six to $10,000 per bus for seat belts? 
more do we spend that money on security vegetables or, or metal detectors? A challenging struggle considering the recent images of tragedy on campuses close to home as well as beyond. But it's the off-campus safety of children that concerns these mothers, forever bonded by heartache. They realize the role that a three-point safety belt can play in saving a life. We talk to each other every day, and we don't say, oh, it's not going to happen again. We simply say, when is it going to happen again? Because no one hears the cry. Nearly all the districts that provided statistics to Channel 2 Investigates have opted to add buses with three-point safety belts to their fleets as older buses are phased out. Again, the only district with no concrete plans moving forward is Fort Bend. Now, if you want to see the numbers for the districts we reached out to, you can find them on click2houston.com under the Investigates section. Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Spring's own Simone Biles is opening up after dominating the National Gymnastics Championship. That's right. Coming up, why she tells us she wears the color teal while performing. Hi, folks. Hilton here at Hilton Furniture and Mattress announcing our Labor Day extravaganza. Everything's on sale. Solid wood bedroom sets, tempur mattresses, and adjustable sleep systems, too. It's all here. Hilton Furniture and Mattress. Labor Day extravaganza. Life is always changing, and sometimes change calls for new health care choices. If you have Medicare and Medicaid or have a lower income, or if you're new to Medicare, you may be able to get extra benefits through a Cigna Health Spring Medicare Advantage plan. Call Cigna Health Spring today. We'll help find a plan for you. You'll have all the benefits of original Medicare and more, like no monthly premiums, no primary doctor copays, prescription drug coverage, even dental services. And if you also have Medicaid, you may get other advantages, like rides to your doctor and a monthly allowance for over-the-counter medications, plus the Cigna Health Spring difference, an approach to health care led by your doctor, including annual checkups and screenings. Things change. If you want more for Medicare, see if you're eligible for our Medicare Advantage plans. Don't wait. Call 1-866-606-7599. That's 1-866-606-7599. Signa Health Spring. Together, all the way. Call the RS and Rescue Rooter. If your AC just can't keep you cool, get it fixed fast with a call to ARS Rescue Rooter. Right now, AC service calls are free with repair. Maybe you need a whole new system. You can save a ton with our best price guarantee. Call today, we'll come out today. Best of all, your AC service call is free with repair. Call now, 777-7777 or visit ARS.com. Hi folks, Hilton here at Hilton Furniture and Mattress announcing our Labor Day extravaganza. Everything's on sale. Solid wood bedroom sets, tempur mattresses, and adjustable sleep systems too. It's all here. Hilton Furniture and Mattress, Labor Day extravaganza. It's the trial and error season finale. We got her. And if you think you know how it ends, yeah! think again. Look what we found. A bunch of letters. Yeah, but you put those letters together and they make words. The finale of Trial and Error, tonight on NBC. You had that dream again, didn't you? I am so cool with it if you had a good dream too, babe. I Feel Bad premieres Thursday, October 4th on NBC. There is a therapy that promises to help make babies sleep better. And there are classes for babies under six months old, a time when new moms need support and stress because the babies aren't eating or sleeping well. All things float baby insists they can help fix. Weigh in, suit up, float. It looks strange to skeptics, but it's all smiles from these former NICU twins. We started when they were three months old. New mom Morgan Springer says Tripp and Colton were seven weeks early and had to work hard to grow. Float baby owner Christy Eisen says this simple technique helps babies get stronger. Floating gives them the ability to move around just like they did in the womb. And so being in that warm environment feels really good for them, but it starts to build 
upper body strength. And she says it relieves some of their discomfort from gas or reflux. Gravity starts to pull that gas down. They can use their legs freely to start to work the gas out. And then we do the massage, the tummy massage, and that helps. Then you have a way happier baby at the house. Hi. But Morgan says she brings the boys to float baby just as much for her benefit. It was fun to kind of get out and meet other mommies with babies around the same age. I only really expected to gauge whether the babies liked it. I did not expect that the moms would be the other half of the equation. In the end, Morgan met new moms and the boys met their milestones. It just kind of wakes them up and just lets them figure out, oh, this is my leg, this is my arm, this is my body. Classes are one hour, about 50 to $70. They are limited to two or three babies per class, so you have to make an appointment before you go. There's only one in Houston, only one in the country. It's near South Voss. For more details, go to click2houston.com. Look for this report under the health section. Spring's own Olympic gymnast, gold, uh, gold medal winning gymnast Simone Biles opened up about some very personal topics this morning on the Today Show. The interview comes on the heels of a spectacular performance at the national championships. She scored a record fifth win. Among the things Biles talked about was why she wore the color teal during the competition. Yes, so the color teal is for sexual abuse survivors, and I think it's very special, so I got to wear it this morning, and I also got it, got to wear it the day two of competition um, for all of us to unite and for me to support all of them. Well, you wear it well, of course, it's so important, mm -hmm. but you also just did so well. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I was reading actually an article where you're the, the team coordinator said it was shocking. It was actually shocking <laughs> that you're even better than you were two years ago and that you won each of these events. And the way I understand it is like, usually people are good at one or two, yeah. Yeah. not all four. Difficult two back handsprings. Simone says if all goes according to plan, she will be at the Tokyo Games for Team USA in 2020. I've got no doubt that she will be. Now on to stories making headlines in Hollywood. George Clooney had a very good year. Forbes magazine estimates the actor made a staggering $239 million pre-tax dollars between last June and this June, mostly from the sale of his Casamigos tequila company. Dwayne Johnson was a strong but distant second on Forbes's highest paid actors list with a mere $124 million. And then Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr. took a third, took third in the place of actors with $81 million. Actor John Lithgow is taking on the role of former Fox News chief Roger Ailes in a new film. According to Variety magazine, the movie is about the sexual harassment scandal that ended Ailes' career. The cast for the film includes Nicole Kidman and Margot Robbie. The movie is expected to be released next year. Now to actor Idris Elba and all the rumors. At the premiere of Idris Elba's directorial, uh, directorial debut, Yardi, a reporter for Good Morning Britain asked him directly about the rumors that he'd succeed Daniel Craig as James Bond, and Elba gave a direct answer, saying no. <laughs> Boo. And there you have it. He'd make a great James Bond. He would Bond. make an incredible sure. James Bond, and I think it would be a freshening up of yeah. some of the... Uh, I mean, Daniel Craig yeah. did a great job. Maybe he's, he's not allowed to say anything just yet. I still think I we so. have to Will wait and see. No? Yeah. Maybe he'd leave you in suspense if yeah. there was still a chance. It's true. I think it would no. be awesome. He's a great, great, great actor if you ever see him and stuff, so no problem. All right, let's get to the weather. Let's talk about what's happening outside. We've got a heat advisory. Mm -hmm. We've got an ozone action day. It's hot. It's August. We knew that as well. Right. So some of that dry air is trying to filter in. Unfortunately, it's just not making it this far south. That front wasn't too strong. And so far, we're going to be dealing with more heat and probably humidity as we start rolling in towards the end of the week going into the weekend. Right now, just a little bit of cloud cover out there. Notice that's the reason why we've got that ozone action day. A little hazy behind the uh, marquee there as well as you look at our Avenida Houston downtown cam. We've got 87 degrees right now. Feels like temperatures running at about 96 and the humidity just about for everybody. Anywhere.
anywhere from around the mid 60s to mid 70s. 88 in Dayton right now, same thing in Anahuac, 89 down in Galveston, 90 and 92 as you get out towards Sugar Land and Katy respectively. And the winds, oh, they're just on the light side, but notice that there's a bit of a northeasterly component. So that's good because that tries to pull in some of that drier air. Look at the dew points in the mid 60s in Cleveland. Elsewhere though, not really feeling the effect of that as they're staying in the mid 70s and that's where it's still pretty darn hot. In fact, you can see those feels like temperatures there anywhere from around 98 to 100, 103. You get out to Katy, 106 in Anahuac. So that's why we've got that heat advisory uh, as we go through the rest of the morning and into the early part of the afternoon. Zach tracks quiet, not expecting anything out there. Let's run the future cast though. I want to give you an idea of what we're dealing with as we head into the rest of this afternoon. Sea breeze is pretty much going to be non-existent today. Maybe a quick flare up uh, south of I-10, southwest counties. You could see some, but if you're north, I don't think we're going to see anything today. Not even a whole lot of cloud cover out there through the rest of the afternoon and the evening. Now, quiet as we go in towards tonight and tomorrow, but then watch as we put in towards the weekend forecast. Notice that if you're going down to the uh, Dynamo game tonight, it's going to be very warm out there. Uh, big game, too, against FC Dallas. And then we're going to keep the 99th for both tomorrow, or excuse me, today and tomorrow, I should say. And then as we get in towards the weekend, by Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday, notice that those temperatures are back down into the mid-90s. But we do have a good chance that we're going to see those overnight lows start to creep up. That means more humidity. And yes, the rain chances will be back as well. Well, much more coming up after this. Stick around. It's a big summer at the Houston Zoo. Check out Big Bugs presented by Texas Direct Auto with giant animatronic bugs like a 33-foot tarantula. Buy a value pass to see this, plus all the animals, and kids get unlimited carousel rides. Go to HoustonZoo.org. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing with the Johnson sofa? Well, they had a pipe break. Uh, water leaked all over the living room. Uh, that doesn't look like a pipe. I fixed the pipe. Now we're just cleaning up the water damage. Oh, it was a sofa leak? No. It was a sofa pipe? No. We like normal here. Normal plumbers doing normal things that plumbers do. I'm a Roto-Rooter plumber. We handle all the plumbing and water cleanup issues. How convenient. Yeah. Call Roto-Rooter for plumbing and water cleanup. Yeah, we do both. I'm Mason. And I'm Maddie. What's trending this year? Convenience. Let's go live with Morgan. I'm here with Katie's mom. Katie has a lot of great school supplies. So where'd you get all this? Uh, oh! <laughs> uh, H-E-B curbside. I ordered it yesterday and I picked it up the same day. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So what are you going to do with all your free time? Uh, I might actually make it to yoga. Mm, yogurt. Yum. Get free H-E-B curbside and delivery. Tuesday through Friday, now through September 14th. Go back to school with H-E-B. A better year starts here. Hey guys, we are back with Chef Linda. It's cooking time with H. About back to school right yes. now. So we've got some easy, please tell me fast ingredients fast. To, to make a rest to make a meal. Yes, simple, um, kid friendly, and mother approved. All right, kid friendly as in like. It tastes good. Tastes wonderful. Tomato basil soup, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna jazz it up. How many kids don't love pizza? So, I mean, it's None. pizza's a thing. So instead of doing pizza every night, I'm taking the tomato basil soup that you'll find in the cooking connection. I'm gonna add all of our favorite pizza toppings, such as pepperoni, you could do black olives, you could do mushrooms. And the whole thing Aww. is, if you don't wanna add it all to the soup, why not individualize it, make the soup, and then put the toppings in a bowl and let them put it in their own to personal make it, fun. make it fun sure I mean a little and then it tastes like pizza because that's all the toppings that are in there and you've got a few extra good. proteins and everything in there for them so very simple and sneak some veggies sneak in. some veggies in now this is one of our classic tortilla casseroles this is four ingredients it's corn tortillas I picked up the chicken fajitas from the market okay. we're gonna go ahead, ahead and add the cheese in there as well as the tortilla all soup right, I'll mix you add we're gonna mix all that together and the tortilla soup is right on this side and the best thing is you can mix it, and let's say you don't want to eat the whole 9 by 13 casserole, it's too much for your family. HEB has these great little carry-out containers. All I did was I put it in there and say I only want to eat half of what we mix here. Right. I can freeze it, bring it out in a week or two, and oh, then yeah, come back and eat it later. Oh, yeah, because be fine in the freezer. Yes, awesome. and it's gluten-free, so it's nice for a lot of folks who are watching that um, carbs and Okay, gluten. easy to come back to in the freezer. Definitely. Meatball sandwiches. One? Now, I can make a large one, but let's go small for the children. 
children, I picked out those little Hawaiian slider rolls, put the fully cooked meatballs in with that great meatball sauce from the Cooking Connection. So you make little bitty sandwiches. So maybe you don't have big eaters, but you right. still want them to have a nice meal. Right. I picked up the apples. I love these. These are from the um, produce. They come with the little caramels. They're in a pack, so you can throw them in their lunch. Plus, if you just need quick snacks, they get off the bus or you're picking them up from school, you've got those little packs from the produce. And yeah. if you're packing sandwiches, we talked about that bear bread. Mm -hmm. That bear bread is the most popular. Kids do not want to eat their crust. Nope. So HEB has taken care of that by putting the bear bread out. There is okay. wheat as well as white. And of course, how simple to put together and grab a few things like the Nutella or the fruit twist sure. for a quick snack or meal. But you know kids. what they want every single time? dessert. Yes, yes. So what is this? This is chocolate uh, hummus. All now they all right think there. it looks like pudding, but it actually is found in our deli and it is a hummus. So you can fake the kids out, but still give them something healthy. So I don't understand. That's made from chickpeas? It is chickpeas and there's cocoa powder in it. And it makes it taste like chocolate? Nobody in the studio knew until I told them afterwards. I had it in the bowl and they were tasting it. And I'm like, do you like my pudding? And then I said, oh, by the way, that's hummus. Okay, we've got 30 seconds, so I'm going to try it. You think I'm going to know the difference? You will not know the difference. Oh. That is the best part, that it is healthy. It is low in calories, 7 grams of fat. And still just as sweet as chocolate. Just as sweet, and it's not... All right, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. You like that one? <laughs> it actually is good. Yeah. All of these look good, and I think all of them would be good to save and make it all a whole bunch of it and then well you can store definitely in the pack those for lunch or quick meal I'll throw in the freezer meal prep and you're good to go. All right, thanks so much. We'll see you guys after the break. I'm Mason and I'm Maddie. What's trending this year? Convenience. Let's go live with Morgan. I'm here with Katie's mom. Katie has a lot of great school supplies. So where'd you get all this? Uh, oh, H-E-B <laughs> uh, curbside. I ordered it yesterday and I picked it up the same day. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So what are you going to do with all your free time? Oh, I might actually make it to yoga. Mm, yogurt. Yum. Get free H-E-B curbside and delivery Tuesday through Friday, now through September 14th. Go back to school with H-E-B. A better year starts here. Hurricane Harvey wreaked havoc on the Texas coast, and the recovery is still far from over. The untold stories of heroism surrounding the storm are the very essence of what Houston represents. A diversified city, united and unwavering. KPRC and our partners at Ashley Home Store, Generator Industries, and HCA Houston Healthcare salute the many heroes of Hurricane Harvey. Visit clicktohouston.com slash Harvey to read more about the storm that forever changed the Texas coast. You never know when you might need a quick loan. That's when it's good to know the Speedy Cash app is right at your fingertips. Applying for a loan at home or on the go is a snap. And get a fast decision 24-7 from any of your connected devices. Apply today in just minutes and get cash in your bank account as soon as tomorrow. You can manage your account, make payments, or click to give us a call from your smartphone. Download our app or visit us anytime at speedycash.com. Love that Speedy Cash. When we switched to AAA insurance and we bundled our home and auto, we were shocked at the savings. Not only did we increase our coverage significantly, but we also saved hundreds of dollars. I switched to AAA because I saved over $450. That makes a big difference in my budget. Switch to AAA insurance today, and you can save an average of $447 on auto insurance. Compare that to GEICO, State Farm, even Allstate. Call now for your free auto insurance quote to find out how much you could save. This type of savings on the insurance goes a long way in helping me do the things I like to do. Because of the savings that we get from having AAA insurance, we're able to do more of the things that we love. We might go to the spa, go to the concert, go out to eat. Yeah, it makes me feel good about spending the money when I know we've already saved it. <laughs> <laughs> to find out how much you could save by switching to AAA insurance, call 877-207-1006 for your free auto insurance quote today. AAA Insurance, helping you save more. Whether you're going back to school or back to football, get back to Cons Home Plus. We have all the screens you need to get through the season or the semester. Score big savings and low monthly payments on big screen TVs and laptops, as well as appliances, furniture, and mattresses. Just go to cons.com to get approved for your Yes Money financing, then start shopping at Cons Home Plus. You want a better life and a better Check out Big Bugs, presented by Texas Direct Auto at the Houston Zoo this summer. The 
well-worn plot of a boy and his dog gets a high-tech update. In a new family opening this weekend, David Daniel has a preview of Axel. That's Axel, a robotic dog designed for battle. Introducing Axel, the latest in military protection, featuring facial recognition, onboard weapon systems, and owner pairing capabilities. But he runs away from his creators and pairs with Miles, played by Alex Neustadter. He and Sarah, played by pop star Becky G, vow to protect their new canine companion. Hey, you want to play? Yeah. All right, let's go. Miles is a motocross rider, though stunt riders provided the film's acrobatics to Neustadter's disappointment. I didn't have too much moto experience, and uh, I don't think the film really wanted to take any chances, so I wasn't allowed to do... <laughs> he wanted to very, very yeah. badly. Yeah, though. I was very persistent, but it didn't give me any leeway. But now I ride quite a bit, and I love it, yeah. They also came to love Axel himself, even forgetting he was a combination of robotics and puppetry. But it just became really real to us, and we all just huddled around and loved this dog, just like it was one of our own. You know when you speak to dogs and you kind of change your voice and their heads kind of tilt, you know, and they're trying to read you? Like, he would do that. Yeah. It was, like, so amazing. It was very, very real. I need to know what it's doing. It's evolving way beyond expectation. That's my dog. I want it back. We're in this together. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. And that's it for KPRC Channel 2 News at Midday. Thanks for joining us. Channel 2 News at Noon starts now. Live from KPRC, this is Channel 2 News at Noon. Happening now at noon, Vice President Mike Pence continues his Texas visit. On the agenda today, a stop at NASA. Plus, a violent attack, robbery suspects, Target, and adult bookstores.